more learn with MS Access 2010. MS Access is a relational database management system. In this program, data is stored in tables with different fields and one column as the primary key. Now, let us understand how the different tables of a database can be related. What is a relationship? We all have a relationship with our family members like father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, etc. Similarly, in MS Access, two or more tables can have a relationship. Relationships are of three types. One to one, one to many represented by N or many to one, many to many. Let's understand these relationships with an example. In a class, you all are students, so you are many or n, and your computer teacher is one. So the relationship between you all and your teacher is one to n or one to many. This relationship can also be viewed as n to one, that is many students related to one teacher. In an RDBMS, relationships are links that associate a field in one table with a field of another table. The names of fields to be linked in the two tables can be different, but their data types must be same. Why do we need a relationship? When a database is designed, the first step is to decide the exact data that is to be stored in each table. The next step will be to split the relevant fields together in small separate tables, but at the same time, it is necessary to keep them connected to each other. So, relationships are needed to keep different tables pertaining to a common database connected to each other. Setting relationship between two tables. To understand how to set a relationship, let's take the help of example tables. Here we will try to connect student table with marks table, where common field is roll number. Let us create relationship and connect the tables. To create relation between the above tables, Open the Database Tools tab, then select the Relationships icon from Relationships group of Database Tools tab. A dialog box appears which shows the list of all the tables created in that database. Now, select the table you want to add in the relationship. Here, select Student Table and press Add button. A small table with student name will appear to the left. Repeat the previous step to add more tables. Here select Marks table and press Add button. Now the Relationship tab shows both the tables with their field list. Next, drag the primary key field from the first table which is roll number from student to the corresponding foreign key in the second table, which is roll number from marks. Now, edit relationship dialog box will appear. Select the common field name of both the tables. Here, roll number in both tables. Finally, click on create. The relationships tab shows the relation between the two tables by joining student dot roll number to marks dot roll number by a line connecting the related fields of the two tables. To save the relationship, right click on the relationships tab and click on save. Query. A query is the most powerful feature of MS Access which allows the user to inquire from a database to retrieve specific information. We can use queries to get results, perform calculations, add, modify or delete data and combine data from multiple tables. There are mainly two types of queries. 
select query and action query. Select query is used to retrieve data from a table to perform calculations or to supply data to generate reports. Action query is used to add, modify or delete data from the table. MS Access provides two primary ways to create query forms given on Create tab. Query Design, Query Wizard Creating a query with query design To create a query by query system, open your required database and select Create tab. Go to Queries group and select Query Design option. A show table box will appear. Select the table you want for query, for example, student table. Click on Add button. Student table will be added to the query tab. Similarly, you can add more tables in the query. As our table is selected for the query, now close the dialog box by clicking on Close button. Query Tools Design View window opens, which is divided into two parts that is top and bottom. The top pane displays the table selected for the query with the list of its fields which can be added to your query. The bottom pane shows the design grid. Now to create a query you need fields to be selected in the design grid. To add fields in the design grid drag the required fields from the selected table above the design grid and drop them to Design Grid. Or you can also double click the field name to bring them to Design Grid one by one. Alternatively, select the drop down arrow in the Design Grid and select the field. You will observe that the table name will be automatically filled as you drag or double click or select the field from the drop down list. You will also observe that in the bottom pane, these components are available in the design grid. Field displays the field selected in the query. Table displays the name of the table of the above field. Sort arranges the selected field in ascending or descending order. Show a check mark indicates that this field will be visible in the query result. You can uncheck it also if not needed. Criteria specifies the condition to select data to be displayed as query result or used to specify more than one criteria. Criteria is the condition used for receiving result according to our needs. For example, let us display the data showing age above 12 years from the student table. We have to open student table and specify the condition greater than 12 to query formation process. For this we need to add two fields namely roll number and age in the design grid. Drag and drop both the fields to the design grid one by one. Let us now specify criteria in the above table. Go to Query Design and follow the steps to use criteria. For our query to display students with more than 12 years of age, we have to write greater than 12 in the criteria of age field. Also, select roll number selected in grid. To see the result of the query, click on Run in the Results group in the Design tab. The result is displayed in the Data Sheet view with only selected field names. To close the query, right click on Query 1 tab and select Close. A dialog box will appear asking whether user wants to save the query or not. Give a name to your query and click on OK button if you want to save it, else click on No. Criteria by using OR option. Suppose you want to display age of those students who are older than 12 years 
or their roll number is less than 3. In this case, there are two criteria, namely age should be greater than 12 or roll number should be less than 3. The result of this criteria will be displayed if either or both of the criteria is fulfilled. So, we have to write less than 3 in the criteria and under age column in OR, we will write greater than 12. We can also write less than 3 in OR of roll number and greater than 12 in criteria of age column. Click on the run option. Result of the query will be displayed. In the output, you will observe that only those records where roll number is less than 3 or age is greater than 12 are displayed. Multiple criteria on one field. Suppose you want to know about those students who are between the age range of 11 to 13 years, which means more than 11 years of age but less than 13 years, that is 12 years of age. So the criteria on age field will be greater than 11 and less than 13. Click on run option and result of the query will be displayed. In the output, you will observe that only those records are selected where age is 12, that is greater than 11 and less than 13. Specifying multiple criteria. More than one criteria can also be specified to a query in different ways. If you want to display the data of those students whose age is greater than 12 with roll number less than 3 from student table, then we need to set criteria on different fields. To do this, write less than 3 for criteria for roll number field and write greater than 12 in criteria for age field. Click on run option and result of the query will be displayed. As there is only one student with roll number less than 3 and age greater than 12, only one record appears in the output. Creating Query with Query Wizard Another way to create a query is to use the Query Wizard. To create a query by using Query Wizard, follow the steps. Click on the Create tab on the ribbon. Move the cursor to the Queries group and choose the Query Wizard option. The New Query dialog box opens with four options displayed where Simple Query Wizard option is already selected. Click on OK. The Simple Query Wizard screen opens. Select the table which contains your required data for query. On the Simple Query Wizard screen, you will see that the Available Fields box contains all the field names of the selected table. To add your required field, first select the field name in the Available Fields box and then click on Single Greater Than Sign. You will notice that the field is now shifted to Selected Fields box on right side. In case you want all the fields to be added in query, then click on double greater than sign. All the fields will be shifted to selected fields box at once. If you want to remove a field from the selected fields box, first select the field name in the right pane and click on single less than sign. To remove all the fields from the box, Click on double less than sign. After selecting your fields, click on next button. Simple query wizard screen appears. If you want to see individual record, click detail option and then click next. If you want to see summarized data, click summary and then click summary options and select functions like sum average, minimum and maximum and click on OK button. Now it will ask you to give a new title to the query. 
Give new title if you desire so. Select the Open the Query to View Information radio button. Now click on the Finish button. You will see that the query name is visible in the navigation pane and the output will appear like this. You can change the design of the query by selecting Design View and then setting a criteria. Forms A form is a database object that is used to create a user interface to enter, edit and view data for a database application. A visually attractive form makes working with the database friendlier and prevents incorrect data from being entered in the tables. Steps to create a form in Access are Open the database and select the table that acts as the data source of the form. Click on Create tab. Click on Form or Forms group of Create tab. A new form opens in the layout view. You will not be able to do anything here. If you want to edit or enter data in the form, then you have to click on Home tab, then View button and then Form view. In the form, only one record is displayed at a time. To move to another record back and forth, use Record Navigation given at the bottom of the window. There is another way of editing the record data in a form using Create then more forms and then split form option. Form window gets split into two parts. In the bottom pane we can make changes in the record data which will get reflected in top pane. To format the font, its size, color and alignment, to add logo and title to the form, use options available in Format tab. Reports Reports are used to present data in a specific layout for printing purpose. Data can be analyzed, organized, summarized and presented in an effective way. Title, date and time, page numbers, images, charts etc. can be inserted in a report. To create report by report wizard, follow these steps. First, open the student database. Next, click on Create tab, then Reports group and then Report wizard. The Report wizard window opens. Select the student table. Now, select the fields you want to view on the report. Click on Next. Report wizard asks you to add grouping levels in your report. Choose any field or simply click on Next to move further. Report Wizard asks for maximum 4 fields you want to sort. Select Age field. By default, it will sort in ascending order. You can change this by clicking on the box. It will change to descending. Then click on Next. Select Tabular Layout and Orientation as Landscape. You can also select Portrait. Click Next. Now select any style from Menu and click on Next button. The default option is Office. Next step asks you to select option from Preview the report or Modify the report's design. Select Preview the report option to preview the report. Click on Finish and the report appears.